Cena, Warthog Princess, and this is a relook at the recent lug haul. I'll put a link right here for you that will show the Lug Life Summer Surprise Box and also the haul items that came with it. Um, one item, of course, is this t-shirt. This is, it says, Smile and Shine, and it has the new butterflies on it, which is really cool. Come on, Kelly. Kelly's right at table height here, so she's loving it. Um, yeah, silly girl. So one item that came in there is a beach ball. It has this lug and, well, sorry, that's upside down. And the flamingo. And I'm going to give this to my niece with a bunch of other lovely gifts for her. And then the baseball cap in balloon black. This is um, kind of like that freestyle material, which is really cool. And very comfortable hat. Um, and I don't have my hair put up, but definitely good. And so I'm excited. I love, I don't wear a lot of baseball caps, but when I'm camping or when I'm out here at the farm, I'll be out in the sun doing a bunch of work. Sorry, my crazy hair. Well, you know, I never had problems with humidity because my hair is so straight, but here it is kind of getting kind of frazzled. Um, yeah, so there is that. And if you're seeing my lovely red patch, that's my um, actinic keratosis that's being treated with like a chemo cream that's really reacting. And uh, same with the spot on my arm. I know it's really unsightly, but c'est la vie. Better to take care of it and not let it become something worse, right? Kelly, you're so helpful. Okay, so the items that came in my order, everything was wrapped up and I was super excited to just get it out and get it open, but I didn't unwrap everything until now. So let's take a closer look at everything now that we have time. So this is a roundabout. This is in the Stars and Shells Navy. Wow, these are all, all tangled up on here. It's the roundabout two, and I just like the colors, the blues and teals and purples. They look really nice together. So I've got stars, I've got a big star up here that's cut off with a part of a shell. I've got all the corals and the different colors, another shell over here. I'm really happy with the placement overall. On the back, actually, I'm really, really happy with it. And we saw this even through the plastic, but we've got, you know, complete shells multiple different ones with the stars. I've got the corals. I, I really like the colors and the spacing. So really happy with it overall. It does come with the long strap, which you can use as a belt strap um, because it is a convertible. You can make it a belt bag or you can use it as a shoulder strap or crossbody strap. It's very adjustable and clearly it's removable. It does also come with a short um, wristlet strap, which is nice. I wish that the coops came with these also. I really do. Um, but thankfully, I have a lot of other bags that I can cannibalize them from to use them with my coops. Um, but I just wish they came with their own. It does have the, the little rings on the side. The original roundabout had them here and they weren't so good. I definitely like it better on the sides of the bag. It's more durable and it's, you know, really nicely anchored. It's not going anywhere. But this bag has a lot, a lot of pockets and options. So the back has a slip pocket and there we get a look at that striped light colored interior pattern. And I'll just put all the straps and tags back in there. A great place to store them and keep them all together. The front is this zipper pocket. It is soft lined and, you know, has that fleece in there. So that's like your phone pocket or your glasses, whatever you want. Or use it for something completely different. It doesn't have to be that. Um, and then there's two main compartments. The double zipper on the front one zips all the way down, but it's gusseted. So if you're wearing a crossbody or a belt bag, it just... You know, draw bridges out really, really nicely. You have a cash drawer there, and then you have eight card slots, four and four. And then you have four more opposite that, plus a clear ID window. And then you have another section, and you have another soft lined. So for me, normally that would be my sunglasses, and I'd have my phone on the outside. But some people do maybe the opposite. And you have this zipper section in the middle, so if you want to put your coins in there, you can. And this is um, underneath, so if you just threw your coins in there, they're going to go underneath. That divider is not tethered at the bottom, which I think is actually a good thing because it allows you to use one side or the other a little bit more if you want. Um, a real nice area. I haven't been big on the built-in wallets thus far. I do like them. I don't tend to just like fully move into them. But on a bag like this that could be a grab-and-go in a larger piece, yeah, maybe. 
Um, <laughs> Kelly just made herself comfortable on Kenzie's toddler bed. <laughs> She's not a toddler anymore, but Kelly thinks it's for her. <laughs> I have to wipe. All right, um, the second section is a couple things about it. One is it also has a gusset to it, but it's more of an open compartment. It has these elastics built in, so there's four of them. Um, you know, it's, I think it's designed as like a makeup compartment because it is plastic lined, clear plastic lining, and the pocket is meshed. Um, so you can definitely use makeup or other things in there. I don't carry a lot of makeup around, but I could use this for pen slots, a chapstick holder, um, any number of things can go in there, like hand sanitizer sprays, things like that. This is the main compartment. You can see the base has, you know, that's two, three fingers almost. That's the main part of the bag, actually. So you don't have to use those elastics and you don't have to take them out. You can just leave them there and work around them. But this mesh pocket here is, it's gusseted on the one side, so it gives it a little more space to it. But it's really nice. Lots of space to carry things. And that is the roundabout too. Single zipper on that back compartment. It goes end to end. All right. Next item, speaking of the coop, I bought two coops. Um, I, I've been wanting something in the small world multi. It's generally not my color schemes, uh, honestly. I mean, I love purple, so that's in there. And I don't have anything against the colors. And I love, love, love small world. But there's just something that I love it and I don't love it. So I hadn't gotten anything. I finally, finally took the plunge and bought this. I think I maybe have like eco shoppers or a tote or something but anyways so I am going to Disney I'm gonna spend two weeks in Orlando so I'm gonna to go to the park five or six times and Universal a bunch of times and I just wanted to have a belt bag or a grab and go option um, that was Disney specific so I did buy this for that purpose I will use it for other things as well I really love the coops um, but it is a belt bag or a crossbody shoulder bag or a wristlet it does not come with a wristlet strap but I have so many other wristlets and whatnot. You can really grab any wristlet and put it on here. Um, but the coops are great. They're great size for me. I just put my phone in the front pocket. There's your removable, adjustable crossbody, shoulder, or belt. Um, yeah, of course it has the cards in there and the dry pack. But then the inside pattern, when you look at it, it's just, you know, dots and circles. But when you look, at, they are... Uh, it's not specifically a Mickey head, but when they align, they definitely look like Mickey heads to me, which I'm sure is not an accident. <laughs> um, so it's, it's a nice padded compartment. I just put my phone in there typically, not a whole lot else in there with it because I'm a minimalist when I'm using this bag. That's just me. Um, and then in the back, it has a zipper pocket and a clear ID. Um, on the front so it's pretty pretty simple but it does have you know a good amount of space to it you can hold quite a little bit so I put my phone I put my chapstick my keys you know a few other little things um, a mask if you need one uh, I don't know if Disney's gonna need them by then or not I'm assuming so uh, but anyway so I got my small world multi so much fun I really do like it I like it more every time I look at it honestly then the other one I got, now classically, the crimson large dot would be the Minnie Mouse pattern. I kind of also think of the black large dot the same way, except I actually could match this to more things that I have, and I'm not a huge red fan, so I went with this, and I'm going to use it with my crimson large dot hatchback three. So I'm going to kind of mix and match the black and red dots. And anyways, you'll see all of that when the time comes. So between now and then, it's going to be kind of a bag of the day or whatnot is all. I brought a lot of bags a lot a lot and most of them will be in that last two weeks of this three-month adventure because they're all Disney and Harry Potter and uh, yeah so I will have to change bags pretty much every day to make it worth bringing all the things that I brought for all of that between Vera Bradley and Jujube and Lug and other so yeah that's gonna be fun uh, but leading up to that, don't worry, I will keep you entertained anyways, um, as always. <laughs> and it won't just be bags. We have, you know, 
uh, looking at where we're at. You know, my brother has 20 acres. I have 40 acres across the street. Um, we got the camper stuff. We got local area. There's some festivals and fun. And so sharing some of the small town America stuff with y'all, that's going to be fun as well. And for those that don't know, I'm out in Virginia, Southern Virginia. So um, just enjoying some time away, a change of scenery and some great outdoors. Ticks, sun, humidity and all. <laughs> Anyways, back on track. So we're talking about the black large dot coupe. And this does have quilting. The uh, crimson large dot one does not. It's a smooth thing. I actually think it's fine. And I kind of like it with the quilting. It doesn't bother me. Um, there it is, a smooth look. I think it's good with it, good without it. Either way, I kind of like the quilting though. And the interior is the same as the small world and also same as the crimson large dot. It has that gray with the black and white circles and lines on there. So got a couple of coops. I think I'm up to like, mm, I don't know, almost a dozen now or 10. I don't know. A lot. Not as many as the queen, but I do have a lot. Um, so this piece came in the surprise box. This is the Chewy, which is a framed bag. It's a great size, but boy, you can open that sucker up. It's um, basically um, a full up cube shape, you know, like uh, it's very, very accessible. And I do think I will use this as a purse, not just as a lunch bag. It is excellent because it's insulated and it has this little side pouch, which I don't know if its intention is to hold like the ice pack or maybe your utensils or whatever, but I think I would just put my little ice pack in there, honestly. But we'll see, because if I'm gonna use it as a purse, obviously it doesn't have organization inside, but I have so many pouches that is not a problem. And I would gladly do that. I just think it's a great size. It does have a plastic bottom um, on top, so it's nice. So it's very, very wipeable and it's plasticized. The handles are folded and sewn. So you can hold them. I mean, it's not gonna go over your shoulder, but you can carry it over your arm without issue. And it has this removable crossbody or shoulder strap. It's just got those, the kind that you just slip through kind of hooks on and hooks off. So you can take it with or without that strap. And then you do have as well a front pocket on here. And this is just, it's a very pretty lining, this nautical navy lining. Um, it's got like the nautical chains or whatever on the blue with black. It's kind of cool. Um, so this is the, the nautical navy with the ropes, very, very nautical ropes. I'm, I'm excited. I think this would be a great size. I think I said it when I did the haul opening the boxes that this would be a great size for like um, a mini jumper. You know, because the jumper is a little bigger, maybe that much bigger, like this about two thirds the width maybe. It, it, we'll look at them side by side later. But for the moment, I just thought, I looked at that and I thought, oh, mini jumper. Yeah, I would really love that. I love the jumper. Don't change that. Don't take that away. I like the big bag. All right, this is the scoop two, and I didn't open this because I might give this as a gift. I'm not a huge pinky person, first of all, but second of all, I haven't even used the scoops I have, so I feel like this would be one of the first to go, only because I have a plan in mind to give it to someone. So for now, I'm not going to open this. Um, because I want to preserve it on uh, un unopened. Uh, but it's a scoop too. And so I'm very tempted to open it anyways, but there are enough other videos already looking at those. Meredith has one with Lug Unplugged and I think there's others. So I'm gonna keep you in suspense along with myself. Uh, that could change. You know, I'm here for, you know, two and a half months. I, I might very well wake up tomorrow and say, nope, I want to open that scoop and use it. So stay tuned <laughs> that could happen um i did not bring a scoop with me ironically i don't think but i brought a lot of other stuff so anyways more to come on that um but the scoop too and it is a beautiful bag it is a little bit thinner this way than the original scoop and has uh less compartmentalization which i i do kind of applaud i didn't mind the, the way the other one was i just haven't used it not because of it, but because I have so many new bags all at one time that it just hasn't had its turn in the light yet. So, say la vie. All right, 
This bag is a uh, boomerang in the freestyle fabrication. So it's that super slouchy, you know, really lightweight with the, it has that robust nylon strap. But I love this bag. I haven't used it yet, but it is everything I wanted it to be. It's in the um, botanical multi or tropical multi. Tropical multi, sorry. <laughs> I didn't think about that. It's not botanical, it's tropical. Okay, I have a bunch of items in Tropical Fog. I do have a couple items in the Tropical Multi, but I really love this bag. I wasn't sure. I mean, I have one boomerang. It's in the black, and I like it. I like it a lot. It is kind of stiff. They don't hold as much as you would think for the size of the bag, in my experience. It all depends on how you pack them, though. Um, but I'm really excited to give this one a try. It's It's got a lot of great pockets, and I think that... Because of the fabrication, it's a little bit of stretchy to it, so I think it's gonna work. Just it's gonna work better for me. And um, being that I'm out here, just you know, uh, in a more rural setting, I'm gonna get a lot more use out of a bag like this. I have lots of ideas for this pocket. I think it will fit sunglasses still. It's not soft lined. Um, you could also put keys in there. That's fine. And then you have the front zipper pocket. I call it the front because the lug logo's on there. And it's just a pocket, so it's pretty good size though. I think your tram wallet might fit in there and any of the smaller ones. And then you flip it over on the back, you have another zipper pocket. This one's a little bit smaller than the one on the front. Doesn't go quite as far across, but you can see the seams right here. And so that, that pocket is as big as that but again it's it's forgiving fabric it has a little bit of stretch to it so it gives you a little more capacity in those pockets and then you have your main compartment single zipper I just love the smoothness of these lug zippers I really really do inside you have a zipper privacy pocket on the back there and then in front of it you have two elastic cargo pockets right in front and it's almost a mesh-like material or like a, like a Nike breathable fabric kind of, you know, clothing. It's like that kind of material. And then it's just an open compartment in here. So a lot of space. It's just very pretty, the colors. Um, you do have actually some elastic cargo on the front as well. So two in the front, two in the back. Whichever way you call the front or the back, I guess you could go either way. I still call this the front, though, because it has the logo. So the zipper pocket's on the back. But anyway, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Fun, fun. Okay, so this one is the Tropical Multi Bag. And then it just has a plain navy strap. But it is the wide strap. Very adjustable. I've got it adjusted pretty long so that this basically just hugs my hip and... I put it on, obviously it's just empty, there's nothing in it, but I love, love, love it. So um, I'd be surprised if that opinion changed once I put things in it and gave it a try. But that's coming soon. After 4th of July, we're gonna start cycling into all these new bags and trying them out, so that'll be a good fun. The shirt, by the way, I bought the 2X because I'm a big girl, but it's a very nice soft fabric. It is forgiving. They are somewhat petite size, although the 2X, I think it's a true 2X for women's 2X. It's, it's, it's not tight on me or anything like that, but they are petite. Like they have the shorter sleeves. They're not a unisex and they're, they're definitely not a men's shirt. They're a women's cut uh, sort of petite thing. Um, but I like it. It's very comfortable. It's very thin, which in a hot, humid environment is quite nice. Um, and then we got the Turvis mug in Star Shells Navy. Um, you can see I have a little bit of water in here. I was drinking water out of it earlier. But it, it drinks very nicely. It keeps it very cold, which is very nice. I love that it doesn't sweat, so I can put it on like the glass table or wood top, and it's not going to sweat all over everything, which is, you know, obviously a big problem in the South where you get all that humidity. The lid just pops off. Um, but it seals really nicely so you can drink it just as a as a plastic cup as well you don't have to even use the lid but I think it drinks nicely with that lip edge and then it has a slide lock um, to open and close it's not like super super spill proof or anything but it'll keep you know kind of splash proof and the last item in the surprise box was the what is it called peekaboo tote yeah the peekaboo 
So this bag actually is a pretty good sized tote bag. It is a clear view bag. So it's clear all the way around and then it just has the, the seams and the trim and then the fabric base. But it's the, um, the peacock blue or the flamingo, sorry, not peacock. I don't know why I said peacock. It's flamingo blue. And so these ones are upside down and on the other side, they're upside down and upright. It's just the way that the fabric is, and that's totally fine. I really like the coloration though. So now you have three different flamingo colorations. You have the mint, the regular flamingo black, and then the flamingo blue. I do hope they come out with some more things in it because I like those colors together. Um, and I'm more of a blue fan than a mint fan. So for me, that works better. Um, but look, you can get a really good look at the pattern on the base of it. And the base does have a clear plastic over it as well. And the interesting thing to me about this is, you know, the clear plastic versus like the slightly milky plastic on the other items in the past. Um, I think they both have their advantage. I don't know what your all's preference would be. Generally speaking, I would say, well, I want the clear, but it does have a glare as well. So I can see like this sort of a little bit more matte appearance on there. Um, but I don't know, I, I like that they put the plastic. I think it's it's smart for bags that are gonna be exposed and you want them to be wipeable. Um, this has nice handles, good strap drop length, easily fits on, very comfortable to wear. It also has the no slip grip all the way around both handles. And it's in that blue color, which is really cool. And the top of the bag has two magnets to close it. so. You can see and there's one there and then you got another one at the other handle where they come together. So that's a nice touch. Um, honestly, if I'm using this bag, chances are it's going to be too full for those to even reach each other because it would be open like this. That just has to be how it works for me. You put a couple beach towels in there and there you go. Um, another thing about it, it does have the metallic plate lug tag on there and instead of having like the the name on the back of the bag there, it has it on the very bottom, right in the middle. So it says, you know, peekaboo right in the middle there. Hey, it's a really great bag. Uh, it's a great size. It's not a gigantic beach tote. So if you're using it to go to a stadium or, you know, a, an arena that requires clear view, um, you know, it might, might be too big for some of the sizing, at least where I am. Um, but it's still a great bag. And it'll be fun here. It'll be a great lake bag. Um, just to carry stuff around or back and forth from my trailer to my brother's house here on the farm, which is like 10 feet, but you know, you carried a bunch of things in your arm or whatever, or go to a picnic. I don't know. Just so many ideas of wonderful things and ways to use the bags. Um, but for now, I'm just going to fold it back up the way it was and set it aside <laughs> because I'm not going anywhere right now. But that's it. It uh, catches everybody up on the hauls and a deeper look at the lug one that came in. And that catches us up. I, I feel like that week of travel and settling in was a long absence. It really wasn't that long. Um, but at least we're caught up now with everything else. And I do have more stuff eventually coming, I'm sure. And I'll see you again soon. Have a great summer. Bye for now.